Welcome to the PubMed Literature Search presentation. My name is Amy Penn. I will be, in this presentation, teaching you how to create a PubMed basic search strategy. Here are some tools that can help you. There are Boolean operators, which include the words and, or, and not. You can use a wildcard with the symbol asterisk, the star. You can use what is called a PubMed search field tag with the brackets. In this case, AU with the brackets means author. So you can enter this, Rutherford, open bracket, AU, close bracket, if you want to search for articles written by Rutherford. You can use filters to narrow and limit your search. Boolean operators, there are three of them, and, or, not, and they must be capitalized in your search box because if they are lowercase operators like and or not in lowercase here they will all be replaced with and so it's very important that you keep the operators capitalized when you enter them in the search box the order of terms is crucial we'll review that a bit later and you can use quotes to group a set phrase together for example this phrase is something perhaps you want to search for together. These three words must go together. However, if you enter these three words in this order into PubMed, it will automatically insert the word and between phototherapy and diabetes mellitus. But that's not what you want. You want the three terms together in that order. If you want that, you must put quotes around those words. Let's review the OR Boolean operator. If you enter, for example, football or hockey or soccer in the search box, it will include all the articles with football, all the articles with hockey, and all the articles with soccer. It does not matter if it's both football and hockey only or football and soccer only. It includes everything that has the word football or the word hockey or the word soccer. Next is not. This means, for example, if you entered authoritis not letter, it will include everything, every article with the word authoritis except the ones with the word letter. That means you want to include everything in the first part, articles with the word authoritis, but you don't want any articles with authoritis and letter. Finally, the word and, the operator and. This only looks at the intersection or the commonality of articles with the word salmonella and articles with the word hamburger. It will not include all salmonella articles. It will not include all hamburger articles. It will only include articles that have them together. And is PubMed's default operator. If you do not use Boolean operators in the search, PubMed automatically uses and between terms, such as we saw in the example before with the phototherapy and the diabetes. Comprehensive search using wildcard, the asterisk sign or the star sign. If you type the word prevent with the asterisk here into the PubMed search box, you will find articles with the words prevention, preventative, preventable, etc. This asterisk or star basically substitutes for all the different letter combinations that can happen after the word prevent. Basically, you can search for everything related to the root word of prevent without specifically typing prevention, preventable, preventative separately in the search box. Also, if you type in D-I-A-R-R-H, it is the root word for diarrhea, diarrheal. The asterisk here is very useful too because there's the American spelling for diarrhea and the British spelling search field tags 
Here are some helpful tags that you can use for your PubMed search. AU for author, TI for title, TIAB for title abstract, TW for text words. Basically, you're telling PubMed that, for example, if you type in hemorrhage, open bracket, TIAB, close bracket, you are asking PubMed to search all titles and abstracts with the word hemorrhage to appear in your search. Or another example would be Central America. You can type in Central America in quotes and you can put open bracket TW close bracket and it will search all of the words in the text of the article that has the phrase Central America. Search field tags require that you place the tag after the word filters. Filters are a means in which you can filter or limit your search to specific criteria that is relevant to your study. For example, you can put a time filter. Did you want to look at articles in the past seven years or past seven days? Or a sex filter. Did you only want to look at female patients or male subjects or both? Do you only want articles in, say, English or Vietnamese or French? Did you only want to look at infant subjects with an age filter? Article types. Maybe you only want to look at randomized control trials. Subjects filters. Maybe you want subjects with AIDS or just cancer or both. So let's have some practice in finding some articles. We're here again at the PubMed home page. Let's type prevent asterisk and let's search for it only in the title and abstract. Remember, this is the search tag for title and abstract, T-I-A-B. And we also want to search for the diarrhea wildcard in the title and abstract as well. Let's search. We come upon almost 6,000 articles here. Let's say, for example, we also wanted to activate some filters on top of this. Let's activate, if you can, under Article Types, Meta-Analysis. And again, we want to activate the filter for age. So let's click on Show Additional Filters. Let's click on Subjects and also Ages because pretend we're interested in infants show. Now let's click on AIDS to activate that filter and also we're interested in infants and newborns so let's have the options show. Let's click on newborn, infant, and infant just to show and let's activate all the categories for infant and newborn. Okay, we have done that, and as a result, we can see again the filters activated are meta-analysis, AIDS as a subject, as subjects, and the infant and newborn ages. We have come from 6,000 results to four results, which is great. This concludes the PubMed Literature Search presentation.